everybody, it's Skullmania, playing Binding of Isaac this time. Now, Binding of Isaac is another one of those smaller, more popular games recently, and I think I'm better overall at Binding of Isaac than Spelunky, but I'm also a bit rusty because I had a uh, hiatus of playing it, basically, because I was frustrated that I couldn't, you know, really advance because I'm bad. Just comparatively less bad. Now, uh, unlike in Spelunky, you have a smaller cast of characters, but also unlike in Spelunky, you have characters that uh, differ in their statistical benefits and malices. However, we're going to start with Isaac, since he's the nominal character. The eponymous character, there we go. Now, like uh, Spelunky, it's a roguelike, but unlike Spelunky, it's not a platformer, it's a dungeon crawler. Which means you're explorating different rooms and a single room at a time. It uh, has a lot of homages to Legend of Zelda rather than Mario or something like that. So, we're going to start here. Now, these big old spiders with uh, big thoraxes. When you kill them, they turn into two spiders. Normal spiders. So, these aren't your run-of-the-mill spiders. They're big booty spiders. And big booty spiders always is a... Uh, Threatening implication. Now, uh, unlike Spelunky, you're not hopping and jumping, but instead you're walking around and you're sort of a waltzing turret. You know, you can fire tiers, you can upgrade the speed in which you get those tiers, and all that. Now, uh, every floor you have an item room, or at least every floor until one of the bosses. Uh, that you can get free item from, and they give you various uh, statistical changes, usually positive, sometimes negative. Okay, here we go. Oh, get away from me. Okay, we lived through that. Uh, those suicide bombers, kamikazes, uh, warriors of the divine wind, however you would like to call them, they basically run towards you and try to blow up. Now we're going to go in here. This is the library. Library has books, book of ledger. Revelations, very good. Actually, we're going to take this out of the rotation while we're at it. This is Telepathy for Dummies, which is okay, but uh, I prefer Book of Revelations because basically every time you're able to use it, it gives you a spirit heart, which is basically backup health, except uh, you can't regenerate it. You can only... Uh, this is stupid. You can only you know, pick it up. Alright, now we lost it just from two spiders, which makes me feel, uh, a little embarrassed for myself, but that was a tricky room. And you have to kill all enemies to clear a room. Now we got Famine. Famine is one of the four horsemen, and, uh, there's a lot of biblical motifs in this game, and one of the uh, major ones is the four horsemen, because, uh, they all drop only a certain item, and that certain item uh, is the same item, which is a cube of meat. And the more cubes of meat you collect, the more powerful, in theory, uh, the item gets. Like, you start out with a cube, then you get a head, then you get a walking guy, and then you get a powered walking guy. And the guy, in particular, is a uh, he's super meat boy from... Uh, I think the game before this, the the career create. The career create compared to career destroying. Um like the main mixture of references in this game uh is between three things. The first of them, Judeo Christian mythology or lore stories, whatever you would like to call it. Uh ah, fuck it. Uh, the second is abusive childhood out the wazoo. Like, uh, you know, a belt is a weapon, a fucking cat of nine tails is, your mother's underwear. It's it's not happy for Isaac. And then the third pool is Newgrounds. I was never really part of that subculture. I know some people were, and so they giggle at the references. Probably most of your career. But you know what? I give respect to Newgrounds. Anyways, we're going to advance to the next floor got all the health back that I lost in that struggle, and, uh, nope, so, okay, fucking, 
See, the game spawned me in a place that I automatically unlocked a door. We might as well go in, check it out. That's a lot of items, none of which we can purchase at this moment, none of which we might really want. I mean, Spirit Heart, always good. Tarot card, if we can afford it. Bomb, sure, why not. Bum friend, fuck bum friend. If I ever pick him up for free, I'll tell you why, fuck bum friend, but... Uh, <laughs> No, you, uh, his name is not fuck bum friend, it's just bum friend, but I am, uh, saying that it is imperative to fuck him in the derogatory way, not the, not the pleasant, consensual, uh, carnal way. Alright, we got the hanged man, and we're going to use it right now. Uh, we got two cents and a bomb, and we're going to go through here. Flying characters, they only take damage from those thorned gates 50% of the time. And uh, we're going to take damage coming out. But still, we managed to sate our curiosity for half a heart, which is not too bad. And we got those uh, two cents on a bomb, which we would have ah, had to use a bomb for otherwise. Right in the middle here. At least I think so. Yeah, that's a soul rock. Uh, we have a soul rock, and their whole thing is you blow them up, you get something nice. Here we got a key. Wish we got something else, but you know what? Keys never hurt in the early game. You just have to be able to put them to good use. Alright. There is a lot of variations on the lumpy head enemy. Uh, these ones spawn flies once they die and they run away from you another spawns a bomb and they run away from you another just blows up and they run towards you and then there's one that spawns flies as well as lets them out when they die and they run towards you now i don't know why lumpy heads is such a common uh, theme for finding isaac Probably because it's a seven-year-old and his uh, horrific imagination hasn't fully developed, so Lumpy Head is just byword for creepy and nightmarish. Uh, that might be why. Alright. Alright, these fires, watch out for them. They, they're not nice. The reason they're not nice is because they shoot at you. And I don't know why fire is taking such a spike to you. Okay, I was hoping it would be... Uh, I don't know what it is, but basically allows your shots to split upon impact. But instead, I think it just lets out uh, like an allied slug or leech or termite, whatever, when you get hit, which is helpful. But Now, Duke Flies, luckily, he's one of the easier ones. But unfortunately, we didn't get a charge for the Book of Revelations on this floor. Book of Revelations is a good item, but it's hard to gain charges for, and it will probably be maximized in its benefit once you get an item that allows you to gain item charges faster, be it through just uh, killing enemies or just charging faster. There are some items that do that, like uh, the 9 volt and the Nun's Habit. Very good pro-dog items, but I haven't gotten the chance to get them that much. Right now, basically, our main appeal is uh, the Loki Horns, which allow our tears to go everywhere on certain occasions. And we also have Infestation, which will be good if we get an HP upgrade to go alongside, because it turns us into this tanky, don't mess with me, motherfucker, type character. While Isaac's whole appeal is he can be upgraded in any way, his downfall is that... Uh, He's the jack of all trades and mace of none, which is pretty fucking self-evident considering he can go in any direction. But, you know, I guess I decided to pair to explain it. Alright, we did not get a health upgrade. We're going to use the Book of Revelations. We're going to get Mom's Coin Purse. This gives us pills. They basically have positive, neutral, or negative effects. Uh, well, thanks. I think we lost our Devil Room because of that too, but it didn't really matter because I only have three hearts, I'm probably not going to use the Devil Room. The Devil Room is like a shop in that you go into it and you get an item if you feel like it, but yeah, oh no, it's still there. I'm just going to go in there just to check it out. Okay, we got a quarter, 
and uh, a nail. Nail, I don't think I've ever gone quarter. Ah, fuck it. It's worth it. At least I believe it's worth it. Anyways, we used the pill that gave us flies. Bombs are key, that switches them out. Bombs and keys we have. We had two bombs, two keys, so that's useless. Bad trip, that damages us. Range up. Okay. I am not in a zone I would consider safe, but I am in a zone I would consider flexible. Because I'm going to be able to buy a bunch of items out of the shop and from the next shop. And that will be very good. Now we're going to get this, we're going to get this, and then we're going to get the bomb. We're going to ignore bomb friend because honestly, less benefit, more cost, and not even just from being 15 cents, it's a cost to have them. But we have a lot of familiars, we have the cube of meat, we have pretty good damage capacity, and magician will help if we get in a pinch, but overall it's not too useful. But I am still happy. Uh, you know what I'm going to do, actually, is a bomb here. Alright, good. Uh, there's these things called secret rooms. Eh. Fuck it. Uh, that's a slot machine. I don't know the statistics on it, but basically you gamble to get items. Be it coins, pills, flies, which can be good or bad. Bombs, keys whatever but uh i'm wanting to save my money for the next shop in case there's useful items there rather than waste it all like a degenerate gambler all right now we're on the caves the caves harder as uh as a game should be it gets harder the further you advance but the thing about the caves is has more variety and enemy types and the rooms also get more complex Usually with less navigation and defenses for you to use, and more defense for them to use. Now we could trade a bomb for a bomb, that's not really a big deal. We're seeing another enemy type here, they are explosive in their presentation. Yeah. Uh, but they are also slow, they don't really have much intelligence about how to fire those things. And a good player can probably use those explosions to their benefit, but I'm not a good player, nor do I have the patience to try to, you know, fucking cheat their AI any. So instead, I'm just going to kill them as Dolores and taxing and as, uh, boring. Oh, fuck! Okay. In case you didn't notice, it has Troll Face XD on it, which, uh, it, it, it's meant to signify how you're getting trolled. Uh, because it's a bomb you can't pick up, it just explodes, and there's an even bigger troll face bomb that will, uh, chase you. Luckily, we haven't encountered one of those yet. They are quite unsavory. But, they can also be utilized to your advantage. These enemy types are basically just the other ones. I don't get why there's two different ones, but, uh, yeah. Alright. Ah, oh, useless. You're useless. I hate you. Bad item. It's not bad. It's honestly pretty decent, but it's not good in this situation. And I used the key to get it. However, my key count is pretty good. So I'm not worried about it. Alright. Here comes these guys. Now, they're uh, super deluxe mega flies, as you can see. Uh, there's one bigger and a different color than the rest. He's the same enemy type, but he's a heroic enemy type, which basically means he is tougher and has more special effects than your run-of-the-mill Super Duper Mega Fly. Uh, I think this one just deploys, when you kill him, uh, bullets that take a whole heart rather than half a heart. Oh, nope. I don't know what he does, but the super duper hero types usually give you an extra item when you kill them. That was a full heart, that might be useful later, but for all things considered, it's useless now. Alright, just spam these fuckers, because they don't have eyes, they don't even know where to shoot. That one did. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Thank you, buddy. Oh, I don't want to even kill this one, he's, he's nice, he's a good Samaritan. Nope! Scratch that, he's out for blood. 
but, but probably because I was saying I don't want to kill you as I was killing him. Alright, three coins. Considering we didn't use a bomb to go in there, that's fine by me. Four. Five. Okay. That would have been like an even trade in the, the Adam Smith quasi-fair capitalist system, but for us right now, it's a benefit. Alright. Now, because we use that, the probability of fighting a, one of the four horsemen in there is a lot more likely. We're not going to use that. I would tell you why we're not going to use that, but uh, actually I'm just going to tell you. I, I don't know why I would fuss about it. That's a uh, sacrifice room, and basically you can hit yourself on it a maximum of, what is it? Uh, four times and a minimum of one to uh, get like a benefit, or hopefully it will be a benefit. Sometimes it can just fuck you over, because you know, you're dealing with the devil. And devil ain't always nice. Uh, we're going to go in here, though. Alright. Troll face bombs. And spiders. We wasted a spirit heart, but you know what? I'm not angry about it because we satisfied our curiosity. In addition to having a shop, hopefully not greed. Okay, it's not greed. Alright. Compass. Compass is good. Compass helps you figure out where you're going. In case you didn't realize. Uh... Wow, we also got a spirit heart. We lost all our money, but I'd rather have something to spend my money on than have money and nothing to do with it. Because, uh, you know, I'm not a hoarder. Anyways, hopefully it's a four horseman. Yep, it's Pestilence. Pestilence can be a bit more annoying. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> a bit more annoying than Famine. He's based- oh my god, okay. He's never fired that much at once. This is a bit of a wake-up call for me, god damn it. I don't know why I'm doing so terrible, probably because I'm bad. But that, 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 fuck it, magician. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, uh, he's harder because he launches bombs, he also has poison tracks, and his bombs also make poison tracks. So he can box you in really quick. I am game. Terribly fucked up here. Okay, move, 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 move. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, but the good thing about him is he becomes significantly easier to deal with at this point, because one, he can only spawn flies rather than maggots. Ah! Uh, and two, he moves slower, I think, and he fires bombs less uh, frequently. All of the horsemen basically suffer uh, a weaker transformation state after you get them to a certain amount of health. His is being headless, while Famine's was being nothing but a head. So, uh, that's interesting. But, even though he's only the second of the four horsemen, I consider him to be, like, uh, the second hardest. War is kind of a pushover. Famine, he's pretty easy. And there's two more, which are super secret. So if we find them, I'll tell you about them. But if you've played Bion of Isaac a uh, moderate amount, you probably know. Alright, almost done. And we're done. Whew, okay. Got another cube of meat. Now we have Meat Boy, and Meat Boy fires as well as stays in orbital. So it's basically straight upgrade. We only have two hearts. We don't have any spirit hearts. We don't have any money. We have a lot of bombs. It's going to be pretty uh, risky from here on out, for lack of a better word. Tempestuous, which is not... Uh, a synonym of risky, but it will also be tempestuous. Stormy. Uh, fuck you, <laughs> buddy. Gotta worry about my own skin here. Alright, this room shouldn't be too hard. Uh, basically it's just knowing when to dodge bullets, which enemies to kill first, and how to <coughs> project your bullets correctly. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, or incorrectly, knowing how to project them incorrectly so 
you look stupid. And, uh, amuse countless, count, 12 ah, viewers. Alright. There, now it should be easy, especially because this maggot is a dumb idiot. Alright, item room. Ugh. See, the thing about active items, which that is, is you can only carry one at a time. And while usually they provide a pretty good effect. Ugh, that's such a disgusting item. Uh, you can only carry one at a time, so if you already have one, you have to kind of keep the bad investment. Or lose the investment you made. And hopefully what will be a good trade-off. Now this is a big four. And we already got all of the the major benefits to our back. Oh well, never mind, we got a golden chest. Which won't really help much as it stands, especially because now we can't uh enter the shop proper because we don't have a key, but rusted key I think helps generate keys uh more often. Alright, pull well, that up. Alright, that was majorly helpful. Uh, and we got a half heart. We're not going to go in there. Health is bad enough as it is. We don't have any spirit hearts to help absorb the damage. Uh, uh, yeah, blow up, blow up, blow up. There we go. And blow up, blow up, blow up. Damn, okay. I almost blew myself up there. I'm glad I didn't. And we're about to get a Book of Revelations charge, which means Spirit Heart, which means, you know, more soft ground to work with, which uh, makes me happy. Very happy. Ah, nope. And there. Need house. We could go up there, but I would provide nothing to benefit from what I can recognize, so instead we're just going to go down. Now, uh, these guys are really creepy, but they're easy to fight. I say, as I probably get hit by one. Nope. Oh, oh, let's see if my hubris fucks me over. Please, no. If I succeeded on screen, then I could be like, yeah, I'm Pro Dog, Binding of Isaac Player. Uh, but. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No, I cannot say I am Pro Dog by New Isaac player at any point. As uh, you saw from that exhibition of uh, parenthesis, lack of end parenthesis skill. Uh, but, you know, I. Ah, okay, okay. Spikes. Okay. I don't mean to sound constipated. I guess it just requires a certain amount of focus. Alright, before we go in there, I'm going to go back. We're going to fight war, probably. And like I said, war, I think, is a pushover. So I'm not too scared. Even though I'll probably end up eating those words. But we're going to look for a secret room regardless. We found it. Uh... Good, good item. I'm happy. I like it. This allows us to fly, which allows us to basically avoid any obstacles. Uh, a lot of hanged man imagery in this game. Hanged man is one of the tarot cards. Uh, it's also the shopkeepers. It's also greed. Coincidence, I think not. It's also an item. Two items, I think. All right, the fallen. That's not. That's not war. But. I can live. Oh fuck. Okay, maybe I can't, but not not in a way of being unable to cope. Well, actually, yeah, in a way of being unable to cope because he's going to fucking kill my ass. Ah! Oh, the worst part about him is he he turns into two, and I've already lost half my health. So I don't think there's any. Uh, there's any loss to turning to two for him anyways, at least statistically speaking. Yep, here we go. Uh, less defense, maybe. Ah, fuck this bullet hell. <laughs> bullet hell, he's a fallen angel. He's the fucking antichrist. 
I think we can sp still do the lasers, but they haven't. And I hope I didn't jinx myself by saying that. <laughs> ah, fuck, there we go. Okay. Uh, for our first try at buying of Isaac on camera, I'm happy. I think I had a lot of things to talk about, or a lot of things to wax strategic about, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. So I fucking died. But I had fun. I hope you did too. Bye bye, folks.